Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great today. This design, it's a design dedicated to Katrina. You sent me these interesting balloons that are the big bear balloons from Metalatex. I think there are other brands making these type of balloons too, but Metalatex or Serpentex are the most popular making the big bear, right? Um, so the good thing is there is not just this color, right? This is a toffee, the looks toffee color, but you can make this design with any color you have for this, especially if you have white or soft pink, you know, this color toffee is not that bad uh, for this design that is going to be a bunny, but it's very cute because this bunny, my first attempt was doing this. Look at this. Uh, the whole toffee color, it's one balloon. It's the big bear balloon. Uh, I use this technique about the apple twist on the bottom, thinking that uh, it can be perfect for a roly poly. Yeah, you just grab a double balloon, one inside another, one five inch round, and then inflate it with water, like approximately one inch, you know, bubble, or one inch something else. Because with that, you just introduce it inside all the way. Well, you know, and then that can be a perfect cute thing for a little kid uh, to play as a roly poly. Um, it can be surprising somewhere. The good thing about this design is you can always pre made these little things. You just squish it out. Look, this is how it's looking. And now you're gonna just put it on the table. I'm gonna just show you very quick uh, because. This is the cool thing about this design. Uh, you have it like this, and then you just keep it, ah, and then bring it up, and then bam, it's still there. Now, it's not like a super, you know, like if you throw it, maybe it can fail, and there's no way to get up. Well, maybe yes, but, you know. But um, I think it's working really cool as a roly-poly, this type of technique. But it not just can be that way. It can be also, uh, if you want to protect this as a centerpiece, you can always use the Harold, uh, Carol Heyman uh, technique about using the CD as a base, as a stand. So a balloon and a CD, you just make a base that it can be protecting the whole balloon from any uh, surface, you know, and you can just leave it there. But the good thing is, you take this out, you don't want to make the water balloon, it's okay, it's going to stay there. Now, no, maybe as a roly-poly, <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna stay there. You can always have this uh, thing there, uh, thing in a suction, so you can just squish them a little bit and it can be suction for a moment, it's a bit more stable. But um, those are kind of like, you know, extra tips if you wanna make more about this design, okay? Uh, what else you can do when you have it like this, why not, you can also add some shoes. So this is uh, uh, the same design pretty much, uh, just using shoes. How I attach the shoes? When you're doing this apple twist, it's gonna be uh, with a uh, balloon scrap. So that way you have that balloon scrap to attach it. Now, Cecilia, why you do this too complicated? Because it may be a little bit more complicated than a simple way to use these big girl balloons. But I'm sure, Katrina, you wanted something else, right? You wanted to see another way. And that's what I'm gonna share with you. Another way to you and all of you watching this video with any balloon practice all different ways these big bear balloons also can be cool in other ways so i'm gonna try to share with you another way in another tutorial but for now i try to give you as many using closest to this technique carol Heyman cd it's a really cool way to to make it stable the water balloon roly poly or just make this apple twist using a feet uh, and I'm gonna use this technique because this is gonna be probably the one easiest or even more uh, common for you to make, okay? Um, let's start it, this can be perfect for Easter and it's cool to see a bunny or using the big bear balloon, uh, not just, you know, they ask the whole balloon inflated all the way and that's it, you make ears, that's it. With this big bears you can also make something like a sweater and this it's looking even a little more elaborated sharpie time look i'm gonna show you a lot of pictures i found on google about sharpie time how to make cute bunnies so now you choose your favorite and practice it i choose this one and there we go you can add or take details but this part it's helping i think more to be looking more like a bunny I don't know, it can be in different color, like blush, peach, you know, sharpie, or hot pink, or even light blue, play with brown, play with whatever you want, and see what 
it's you know looking better for you okay big introduction yes because you know it's important also to listen to <laughs> and i know people hate that i talk and talk too much but it's it you know if you don't want this you can always go back go all the way move the video all the way where the video start you know the main tutorial thing it's fine let's use these balloons again toffee but if you're having white great soft pink awesome okay but let's go with this the toffee it's working so it's fine how to inflate this look look at how i'm doing this i'm taking it all the way to the top to the ears it's important to inflate first the ears so i'm gonna give it one pump a couple here that's the ear one and now take my inflator to the other side the other ear so crawl cover that and start inflating the other side okay when you have kind of both the same size let's keep going to inflate the head and then we're gonna give it a little bit more and inflate the body okay so that's how it goes when you want to make something fast with this design is the big bear bodies Ta-da! big bird body and then here you have a head or it can be part of the body for any design that's you know the basic with this but what i like about this is to use it this way because i can see already the head ears okay now uh you play it all the way but then lose air because you don't want this to be too tight so i'm losing air and tie it close to the nozzle yep now, what to do here, I, I like to, for example, already kind of like, no, I'm going to be using this part. And what I do, I just do this without thinking. And then I squeeze it up from the half that I twist there. I squeeze it up and then I'm going to let it go. Just only because I'm kind of practicing. You can do that right now or you just keep going like this and then you want to use feet, right? So we're going to use balloon scraps. This is the moment you use your balloon scraps. I'm going to grab this piece. And we're gonna make that apple twist or marriage twist right now like this. Look how the balloon now. Grab this and push. And now you remember you have it here, that intersection. So now you're gonna hold that. It's I feel this and then play with twisting this part. Now, uh, but the part is getting too small. You can always put more air if you want before. For me, it's fine. Look look at this you have that okay twist that and you have now a connection for feet um or shoes or socks <laughs> or nothing you don't have to put anything there just a want if you want okay now another balloon scrap yes to attach and make sure that doesn't get untwist this old chunky part in the middle so you just grab any color balloon scrap you know why because nobody's gonna see that that's gonna be hiding so I'm gonna just grab it, pull, and pass this around, making sure it's securing that uh, center, okay? Now, tie it two times and let it be. There you go, you have this. Always make something, try to look around. What happens if you put it this way and you already have this? Maybe it can be another type of the body, you know, the, the belly, the legs, and this can be another thing, or it can be something made the other angle. What this can be? Maybe this can be also the part of a machine gun, you know, and then from here you have another connection to make fires, you know, pushing fire. It can be a lot of things. Play with that idea. Play with it, you know, look at all the angles and use your imagination. Have fun. Okay. For now, we're having it this way. <laughs> yeah now let's make the sweater but for the sweater make sure now you have balloon scraps 260 or a 260 toffee color by preference but if you don't have toffee color 260 any color of that one big bear balloon you're using if you have white use a white because those are going to represent the hands so let's see i'm gonna go with the closest i have of two toffee it's gonna be blush for me okay so I have balloon scraps and you just have to um, make it different ways. You can just use all the way this part and make those type of hands or you can just make sure just have here like three finger bubble and make it into a pinch twist. Yep. And tighten. The rest leave cutter. Oh, my cutter. <laughs> oh, I have my cutter there. Man, okay, I have another cutter there. And you have to do it again repeat 
the same thing. This technique we made it so many times, right? So three finger bubble, pinch twist, tie it. The cool thing about using big bear balloons, you can make big balloons easy. Big balloon designs easy. You, you have this, two of those, one hand represents each of those. Okay, now what color you want the sweater to be? We seen with light blue looks adorable. Combining blues looks cute too. What about some pink? What about some pink or light purple? Light purple, let's make a light purple. Pastel colors are a good idea, especially if you want to use this for Easter, okay? So yeah, you have this. Two, two, yes, two, two, I like two. Because if you use only one, it's gonna look like very short, that t-shirt. Now, this technique we used it before, you know when? When we made a ghost, a very cute ghost using a 11 inch round balloon, really cool, check it out on my playlist, Halloween designs. But this is now gonna be in a playlist that says Easter designs. Okay, so you have these inflated approximately like nine, ten finger long. Ten finger, ah, oh, tail. Okay, and I'm telling you now, you will need a second one, the same color or any other color, but better the same color, I think. I think. So the same, uh, just leave, you know, ten finger tail. Okay, so let's start. This is what we're going to do. Make sure it's soft and squishable. You grab your pinch twist blush, or uh, in my case, but remember, it can be the color of the big bear balloon you have. Now you just grab it and make a marriage twist, long marriage twist. Again, let's make a long marriage twist. When I say long is you put your whole finger inside, plus squish a little bit more. Why? Because that's gonna give it a very cute effect of the arms, the shape you want it. It's gonna be around the belly, holding the belly. This is a very cute way to make arms because look, that shape is can be very um, flexible, uh, accommodated to any type of uh, way you want. So that's really cool. So you have it there, twist, 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 this part, look, this part, but then also the long part, this long part. Pew, pew, pew. Now it's all, it's secure, it's secure. Now you make like approximately two finger bubble pinches. You can make uh, one more if you want, but it's not necessary. But if you want, why not? <laughs> I like to be just twist. I'm gonna make another one, there. yeah. Okay, it's gonna be, I think, better, just more stable to keep the arms the way you want it. But, okay, now measure soft and squishable, like approximately six or, what is this, seven finger long. Okay, soft and squishable is better, so then it accommodates better to the rest of the body. Then here make another two finger bubble, pinch twist and one more looking a bubble pinch twist with the rest look what i'm doing we're gonna soften and squishable gonna close this part make sure this is in there so you're gonna trap this this way yeah soften and squishable and pass it from one side to the other one yep now you have some left over but i don't know how good will be let's pass it all the way now from here soft and squishable pass it all the way to the two pinch twist from one and then go back to the back so that way you have enough to make the sweater but wait you know i'm not forgetting we need another arm yeah i know but i just want to make sure i already have this with the rest here you have some left over make sure you pop it using your scissors your nails or your your teeth, try to avoid using your teeth because we have to save our teeth. Okay, I just lose some air and take all the air extra, tie it, secure them, so that way it doesn't get on twist and lose some air later. It's looking crazy, yes, you can accommodate things, yeah. So, but for now, I'm just leaving it. Oh, it's because I love it. I love how it's looking, look. The bubbles that goes at the end, it's a little bit longer, but that's good. It's gonna give you some shape to your, you know, sweater. Look at that, okay. It's like, wait, I don't see, trust me, in person, this is gonna look cheap and more adorable. Now he needs another arm, yeah. You can leave it like that, but he needs another arm, and that's why we go with the second balloon, 260, light purple, the second hand, and just do, again, long marriage twist. One, put it all the way, the finger, and give it a little bit more. 
okay and then twist uh, i mean take your finger out and kind of like measure the same size while squishing the air and twist and twist this whole side and then you're gonna twist and twist the other long part that's the way this is gonna be more locked then you're gonna grab and you don't need to make another um pinch twist because they're already there but from here you're gonna cut leaving some teeth so use your scissors or your cutter i couldn't find my cutter so i'm using my teeth but don't use your teeth <laughs> i know who i am to say that ah oh, tie it save it because those are going to be the shoes or socks and then from here to secure this tie it uh making sure this little uh, chunky part uh is there uh locked and then we have all that to attach it to the two pinch threads right here with practice you're going to be able to make this much faster but sometimes things take time it's okay it's okay take your time i'm losing a little bit of my arm in the other side man but it's okay you have the idea now from here what else accommodate things the way you things are looking better play with the angles um now uh let's keep going yes with this you're just gonna make that uh shoes or socks so you make it as big as you want and make it like four uh five finger loop why because ponies have big feet now that's the idea and then i like to make these two loops you know five finger loop five finger loop and then one finger bubble pinch twist just to keep it more stable that area of the feet and then the rest you cut it using your cutter and then pass around and remember we have some balloon scrap here that is the connection you just pull it and pass this around with the loop of all these that representing socks or feet or whatever you want it to represent and there we go um let me see. let me see make sure the pinch twist that you made in the purple it's in the back yes and i'm gonna show you how it's looking i'm gonna show you right now first let me accommodate things um for some reason for some reason things doesn't want to operate today balloons are not cooperating with me so you have this look how cute how cool it is adding you know the 260 just to this detail like socks or sweater and uh, now it's sharpie time sharpie time so grab your area that is going to be the face and i like this type of faces uh, and it's not really that hard it looks cute but you can make it much simple so just yes, i'm going to show you how i do it and again check up on google cute bunny faces and you will see there are a lot of choices uh i like to i recommend you start with the left side and do something like this and the same then is going to be the other side look that is going to be the base for the eyes so then just make something like that and you can add eyelashes and then a little bit of eyebrows and then here is the cool part that you just do something like this uh-huh and then you just make a circle in the yeah and, and then you repeat the other side like a mirror okay what else color that wave um but don't color that little circle you made at the end okay let's repeat the other side the same and this may take time that's why you decide what you want to make easier faster stickers always why not um you can grab now um green yeah green eyes it can be blue it can be any color you want and just make a line i'm gonna show you right now how it's gonna be looking then white Check it, check it, your white sharpie and go and just cover the last part, that little empty dots. I'm gonna show you. Good thing you can always look the last result on that side, right? And then pink or magenta, just make some cheeks one each side. Look how I'm making the cheeks. And then the nose, you can make it in the hard nose shape or just something like this. And then 
just make something pointy in the bottom. That's simple. Then you just make a smiley face and you can add some cool teeth and color the teeth. Uh, two little teeth. There you go. Look, that's the bunny face. Make it whiskers. Do it if you want. It's up to you. Here, you know, I'm sure people would have that's a bunny, but I think a detail that it can be helping this. You can always grab any color, magenta, pink, a blush. If you have peach, uh, it would be a good idea to use it, or even white, but uh, you have to cover that. So, uh, even what about orange? Let's check it out. Let's check it out. You just do something like that and then color it. Um, just that, my Sharpie. My orange is like doing, huh? I've been making a lot of carrots uh, for the noses of the snowmen this Christmas season. Whoa, okay. But it can be cute. It can represent also kind of carrots, <laughs> ears, uh, for this cute bunny. I hope you like it. Thank you so much, all of you, for watching my videos, for collaborating with this channel. Thank you, Katrina, for sending these big bear balloons. I think this is a very cute design and idea. A lot of potential. Remember, water balloon inside. It can be the roly-poly technique. Um, it can be with uh, just a centerpiece. It can stand. Just don't make the shoes. Or even with the shoes and then add the CD. Why not? Try. Try, experiment, have fun. And don't forget, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to the channel. I wanted to net up the 2022 with 10,000 subscribers, but no, I couldn't make it. So now let's see what happened this new year, 2023. Uh, if you can subscribe, it's gonna be helping a lot this channel. Also I have a Venmo and PayPal account. You can always donate money because all your money, it helps to get more balloons, more equipment. Um, I would love to get a new apron, but the good ones are not cheap. So you, you know, need to save money because my apron is getting too old and I'm not that good shoeing. I don't have that special machines, you know, to shoe and, you know, I just shoe my patches, <laughs> embroideries, you know, like I have somewhere. But anyways, I hope you like all of you. Don't forget, leave your comments. If you have more ideas with Big Bear, leave it in the comments. I would love to see that because I've been having other, you know, ideas it's coming on other videos. So for now, that's all. And um, thank you again. I'm, I'm happy to be back. Ciao, ciao.